King Frederick and Queen Mary of Denmark had been married for 20 years and were in Norway to celebrate their platinum wedding anniversary. However, they seemed to avoid drawing attention to the milestone anniversary during their trip. When asked questions about the special occasion by spectators, King Frederick deflected all of them and only mentioned the weather. This strange avoidance of the topic stood out to observers. After only a couple days in Norway, Queen Mary unexpectedly left early and returned home to Denmark alone. Meanwhile, King Frederick remained in Norway on their royal yacht. The couple did not publicly acknowledge their anniversary celebration in Norway beyond a single Instagram post showing them smiling on the boat in matching outerwear. However, pictures from their arrival in Norway appeared much more icy and tense. Speaking to a Danish media outlet, a royal expert noted how odd it was that the couple avoided questions about the anniversary. The expert hypothesized they likely sidestepped inquiries to prevent a more difficult discussion from ensuing. In her analysis, the expert said King Frederick genuinely did not seem interested in discussing his wedding day at all. She believed their evasiveness on the topic was very deliberate, as they did not want to address it. If he answered even a simple question, it could force him to respond to things they'd rather not address due to potential complications that could arise. So they chose to say nothing at all about the anniversary to avoid any challenges. Speculation about the true state of their marriage had dominated coverage of their anniversary. Rumors swirled that their romantic love had faded long ago and their union was now more a matter of tradition due to their royal titles. This gossip was further fueled by an embarrassing incident the previous year involving King Frederick. Late one night, he was photographed out on the town in Madrid with a glamorous friend named Geneva Casanova. The pair were seen returning alone to her apartment without any security escorts. While Geneva dismissed rumors of anything romantic between them, the images raised eyebrows. Though the Danish royal house does not comment on rumors, body language experts analyzed the king and queen's interactions afterwards. One body language specialist said King Frederick now seemed checked out of the marriage. Another said Queen Mary's body language frequently indicated she wanted to head in a different direction, away from her husband. Both experts said the royal couple showed no signs of intimacy during later public appearances. The specialists even went so far as to say the pair did not appear to like each other anymore. Adding to speculation, Queen Mary cut short what was billed as their working wedding anniversary tour of Norway early. She returned to Denmark alone while King Frederick remained on their royal yacht. Her unscheduled trip home was to meet with officials from the United Nations, including the UN High Commissioner for Refugees. This meeting took place at the royal couple's city home in Copenhagen and centered around efforts to protect and support the rights of refugees globally, especially women and girls impacted by humanitarian crises. Though not included on their public itinerary, the Danish royal house confirmed the meeting via an Instagram post thanking the UN representatives. The unexpected change to Queen Mary's schedule and her solo travel home fueled further rumors about troubles in her marriage. Followers commented with concerns for her well-being and questioned why she departed Norway by herself rather than on their royal vessel as planned. While some defended it as likely related to the last-minute UN meeting, others expressed doubts or critiqued the monarchy. After 20 years on the throne alongside her husband, Queen Mary's actions and the analysis of body language experts suggested all may not be well behind the closed doors of their royal marriage. Their avoidance of publicly celebrating or discussing their platinum wedding anniversary only added to speculation that their relationship had long grown icy and detached. Though the Danish royal house does not comment on private matters, through their actions and words left unsaid, observers deduced that after two decades, King Frederick and Queen Mary now seemed like strangers rather than lovers ruling as one.